Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel, and today it's Will It Shave Wednesday, or a late Will It Shave Wednesday. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. I've had a lot, a lot going on this week. Today's shave soap for the Blade Showdown is going to be Colonel Conk, and this is the Amber. I thought it was Black Amber, but it's just Amber, and this is a glycerin-based soap. Here's what it looks like. I'm already lathered in the tub a little bit, but I'm feeling the need for some menthol, so... I'm gonna grab the tube 2.0. And if you have the tube, is the menthol in the uh, tube 2.0 more or less than the uh, ice tube? Let me know, let me know in the comments below. And I can already feel the menthol up around my eyes. Ooh, yes, I love it. Okay put that back in these matching game changer 0.84s I have the two blades that have survived the last round of showdowns I have no idea which blade is in which razor but thank you to my beautiful wife the two blades that are going to be competing is the Gillette 365 can you believe that menthol's getting me I had some allergy stuff going on too, so my eyes are a little bit more sensitive. Okay, so it is the Gillette 365 and the Dollar General Blade, which I have been told is the Persona Blues. I don't know for sure. I couldn't find that. It's just hearsay. Uh, and I do have the matching splash by Colonel Conk. And look at this beautiful glass bottle. That's just something else. Okay. So I have uh, the soap already whipped up, and since this is a glycerin-based soap, uh, there's really not a whole lot of uh, lather to it, and um, it doesn't, I don't, in my experience, it just doesn't hold the uh, sudsiness or the lather portion real great, but it, it definitely is slick. And this is the um, Trotter's Handcraft Brush, and it kind of has that matching amber. That, oh, my horsey's upside down. There you go. And I will put a picture right here of the shave gear that I'm using. <clears throat> and I forgot to put the razor blade in the picture, but that's okay, because I've told you what it is. And I had thought about if this doesn't hold the lather real well, I may take the puck out of that little container and do a little face lathering with it. I'm gonna go ahead and work this around a little bit. I was gonna tell you that in the on the soap itself, um, the scent is nice and prevalent, but after you lather it up, it seems like the scent goes away. And it's almost like the lather going away. But I wish the, um, you can kind of see it. It's not, you can tell it's not a high density type soap. But yeah, I was hoping that the scent on that soap would stick around a little bit longer. So I'm gonna warm up razor number one and let's get the shave going. Here we go. Let me get a little closer. I need to add a little bit of, it's, it's time for a haircut too, I believe. All right, I almost put my, <laughs> I almost put my brush in the water bowl. Okay, so here we go. Mm-hmm. Now this blade seems really familiar. It's smooth. It 
not super sharp, but it is mowing it down. And let's go with blade number two. Let's take a take a little feel of this one. Mm hmm and this blade is kind of smooth too I can tell that the blade on this side is not quite getting all the hair and this is beard reduction or stubble reduction and it's not um, what do you say uh, beard removal or total removal. I'm gonna go back with the razor on the left side. Get my little landing strip in there. <laughs> that landing strip, runway or whatever you go. <laughs> oh boy. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we'll go back with razor number two. So on the neck, this one is a little bit tuggier. Sorry about the interruption. I had a, uh, a phone call come through, but I don't know uh, where it kicked off, but the razor on this side seems a little tuggier on the neck and it still feels like it is not removing as much like it's missing some. So I'm going to guess that this razor blade is going to be the Gillette 365. So what do you think? Let's, let's take a look and see what it is. What is it? Is it? Oh yeah. And this, this 365 blade, to save money, they didn't print on both sides. Or is it the Dollar General blade? Mm, 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 mm. Yep. And just out of curiosity, I can't really remember what the uh, Dollar General blade looks like. So let's... Uh oh, let's take a look at that one as my face dries out. Here's the one on this side. And though this blade wasn't too bad, is there anything? Oh, yeah, this is the one that was in that little um, cartridge dispenser. Do you remember? Kind of like the old ones. And there's, there's nothing on it. So... This uh, blade will not move on into the competition. And I will put a picture right here so that you guys can see where we're at. And the Gillette 365 moves on and it will compete against another winning razor. All right, so I'm just gonna double check that I put that on and my face does feel a little dry, but I don't think I'm gonna put any water on there because this is already kind of thin. And I can feel the menthol. It feels like the um, lather is cold. So I bought this um, shave soap and it was in a set of three and if I remember right, it was on sale on Amazon like last summer and it was like 10 bucks, I think. And I kind of thought like, well, you know, if it doesn't perform well shaving, it would work nice as a pre-shave. And I think it would probably do better as a pre-shave because of that. Um, I don't know if, if you guys have been sticking around long enough to know that one of my pre-shaves that I recommend that is super cheap is uh, can be found at the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree and that is the Pears Soap which is glycerin and, and kind of resemble each other. This one uh, doesn't really have it's kind of has like a, a slight scent to it but 
for a dollar as a pre-shave. Excellent. It doesn't have all the extra goody stuff in it. So, all right, let's go ahead and finish the shave up. Uh, pass number two across the grain. See how the soap is dissipating. So if you're new to wet shaving, you may want to stay clear of this because, I mean, it's not a bad soap, but if you're taking your time shaving, it's probably going to disappear on you. And you want to try to get the best. And I know when I started out, I looked on Amazon a lot at different products and just wasn't sure what to get. And so I watched a lot of videos, got on Facebook groups, listened to a bunch of people. Got a little something there. Mm -hmm. So today, I had an appointment pretty early for going to the dentist. And I'm not a big fan of going to the dentist. Bad childhood memories. But uh, I go twice a year to get my teeth cleaned. And even though it's not uh, anything major, I still don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way it is. And then, shortly after that, I had to go to physical therapy. Which I've been doing that three times a week. If you heard my bowl full of cold water. I'm going to do a little rinse here. And the physical therapy... I, I'm just not big on that. I, I don't know. They just have you do different stretches and walking and stuff that just seems to irritate the surgery or procedure even more. And I just, I don't agree with what's taking place. I'll say that. So it's been kind of a, a long day. I will definitely be taking a muscle relaxer. I try not to take any medication because um, I just don't like it. If it's the last resort, I will, but they've really been firing things up on me and it just seems like it's irritating it and making it worse and that's not, not good for me. Did I say that? <laughs> All right, so I apologize for the late upload. That was my two reasons. Uh, here we go, we're gonna follow up with the splash. I've not used this splash. I did have to look a little bit for the matching splash. Callie, Dobie's in here. And I'm not gonna pick her up to show you guys. There's no restrictor on here, so we're just gonna, oh boy, that was a little too much. It did have a little um, cap in the top and I should probably <coughs> Ooh, I should probably poke a little hole in that and this this hey just trying to look up the aftershave get stop this scent or at least the feel and maybe the dry down will, will be a little bit different but it reminds me of a um Avon aftershave splash, the scent and all. So, quite different, I will say, for sure. My wife will not appreciate that scent, I guarantee. And you know what? Look at, have you seen that? I've never really cleared that off very well, but that is a, that would make sense why my star jelly, which I, I had got out to the the bottom of the pickup tube is busted uh-huh and so that would explain why it wasn't emptying out all the way at the bottom mm -hmm. so whoever put that in there 
terrible quality control. That makes me want to take one of the other ones off the shelf and see if I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that right now. This one, can you see it's, I've used a little bit out of it. Let's just take this one off and see what do we have here. Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. Huh. Well, that one will suck all the way to the bottom. Eh, you know, it's humans. Humans do it, so that is probably 95% sure that's why that wasn't picking up at the bottom. But I'm almost done with it. I could actually tilt that and probably get that to go in the other bottle, but well, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, well, that is the shave for the day, and it turned out pretty good. Not so sure on the, the scent on that, but uh, you know what? I've got enough stuff that I can make that work with other other things, and I feel like I got shave soap bubble rinse in my ears, but that is the shave for the day. I appreciate you guys sticking with me, and I will see you guys on Sunday Shave. You have a great rest of your week.